Howdy y'all, welcome to another edition of Getting Outdoors and not a good day uh, today. Well, actually not a good day yesterday. I had to tear out six, uh, well, so three yellow squash plants and three zucchini plants, um, all because of mosaic virus. And I'll show you in a few minutes exactly what that looks like. But uh, so how to find out what it is, what it looks like, some of the symptoms, and then how to deal with it and treat it is coming up on this edition. So we'll be back to you right after these uh, words from our sponsors. What do you mean we don't have sponsors? Not one sponsor. Not a, not, not a fertilized sponsor, not a seed sponsor, not a fence sponsor. Okay, apparently we don't have any sponsors, so let's get to the video. So you may be wondering why I've got this trash bag here. Well, the only way to get rid of the virus is to get rid of the plants. So uh, that's what I did yesterday. And as I was looking around uh, through Google and YouTube videos, there really wasn't anything on there really saying how to do it other than you gotta take the plants out. So um, let me kind of show you what this looks like. And, and these, are gonna probably look worse today, um, but let me show you right here. So first of all, you start getting a yellowish around the, the uh, edges, and it may start to look like uh, you have um, squash bugs uh, infestation in there. That's what one of the uh, garden uh, places around here told me when I first uh, was getting some issues, uh, but you can start to see how it gets spots on both sides there. Um, it starts getting wilted, you know, leaves on there. And let me find if I can. And by the way, yes, I'm using gloves because I'll throw these out uh, because I'm going to start messing with other plants. And they say that uh, this is very highly contagious uh, from plant to plant. So. Um, let me see if I can find one of Okay, so I found a couple of the squash that were growing on uh, these um, squash plants. You see how they're green. Um, they have a little yellow tinge to it, but they started having green spots and then they'll turn all green. Uh, so that is another uh, symptom of it. Now, this is not toxic. Uh, you can actually still eat uh, these, um, but they were so small and they're hard. Uh, so, you know, uh, they weren't ready to harvest yet. And so it just came up with the plants. So let me show you kind of what that yellowing looks like on that leaf. So this is again, how it's gonna start uh, that, that whole virus uh, going in. Uh, now, the mosaic virus uh, can start from uh, seeds, or a bad seed, and uh, I had one plant, there may have been two plants last year that had this, and I didn't know what it was uh, until after the, the end of the season. I, I was getting squash that were green. I thought somehow cross-pollination with zucchini and stuff, again, the squash was just fine. Uh, but then I researched it out more, found out that it's a mosaic virus. And so I think what happened was that um, the roots, uh, since I do root stout, everything just kind of gets, you know, composted right there in, in the dirt. And I think it just kind of stayed dormant till the spring. And then it just went from one plant to another. Uh, so again, I've got two plants that are healthy. So what I'm going to do now, um, and it's June 1st of 2020 and I'm going to replant but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out uh, the you know a pretty good sized hole from where those plants were first and take those out um, and then probably plant uh, my replants also somewhere else and I just want to kind of see you know is that going to be a problem area for me because it can transfer to tomato plants apparently um, to, to watermelon and, and some other things. So I want to see how it does uh, there. But as you can see, you know, we took out 
plant after plant here. And again, you can see how these were starting to get, see how they, they were not all yellow. It's got that green tinge to it. So uh, that mosaic virus hit it uh, pretty hard uh, here. And again, once you start seeing the first symptom, pull the plants out. Uh, don't compost them. Um, get all the roots uh, out from there and just put them in a trash bag and throw them away. So let's get to cleaning this, this up, get into the garden, dig out that dirt and replenish it. All right, so let's head into the garden here and I'll show you where I pulled out the plant. So I've got uh, one squash plant here that seems to be uh, thriving, that seems to be okay. Um, I think this is just dried out, you know, how some of those leaves just, um, when they start getting dried out, they just have that, that crustiness to them uh, around the edges. I've got good green foliage coming up from uh, the bottoms uh, there. So um, the area, there was one squash plant that was right there, and then there, and then there. And then I had a zucchini plant. Uh, this one actually uh, died early on me. It had some kind of wilt, uh, fungus wilt uh, to it. Uh, but I pulled up one there, one zucchini plant there. And here's the other zucchini plant. Again, that seems to be doing uh, just fine. So I'm going to uh, get those uh, planted up. Um, I, I'll Again, I'm gonna dig so again, that's right where the zucchini plant is. I'm gonna dig all the way around this and remove that dirt. Uh, again, I probably won't put that zucchini plant exactly right back uh, where it was. Um, and hopefully the heat will sterilize uh, some of that. So um, you can see some of the stuff that's growing. We've got some, some really good uh, growth uh, going on the rest of our uh, vegetables here. Um, really pleased with uh, some of these big tomato plants. Uh, again, I've always said that I've always had trouble growing big tomatoes and these are coming along uh, just fine. And surprisingly, the cherry tomatoes are what is uh, lagging uh, behind. But, uh, so usually I'll go to the garden center and get, you know, yard load full of dirt. Since I didn't need uh, that much, uh, what I ended up doing is getting uh, a few bags uh, here of uh, so or organic raised bed uh, soil, and or organic plus. Um, the reason I got uh, this one is because you don't really have to, to mix it um, in with existing soil like this. I'm going to mix these two up. Um, I don't know if you saw our bell peppers, two of them uh, weren't making it very well, which that kind of brings me to another point. Um, we got a pretty good size garden there and I plant way more than the family of five needs but it's because just like this if a virus hits us if something goes wrong if something starts lagging behind then I'll uh, still have enough uh, vegetables uh, growing for us so you know even with those two the one zucchini plant and that one squash plant that probably still hold us over uh, but we do like uh, having stuff uh, through the winter. So um, the, the bell peppers, I have uh, four of them right here that's in line out there. Um, really can't, can't see. You can see the, the biggest one all the way to the very end. And these other ones just down here at, at this end down here just, I don't know. I'm not sure what has happened uh, to them, uh, but they are puny. So I went ahead uh, while I was at um, Lowe's, uh, I got a couple other um, plants that they were sell. Now here's also another key. Now you see, I got these, these are, are much bigger pots in here, right? But in this pot, look, there is one, two, three, four, there's at least four different plants in there that I can spread apart. And the same thing on this zucchini. I got one, two, three. At least three different plants that are, are there. Uh, so those will 
you know, do just fine in replanting and getting me exactly what I need. So, um, last thing I want to talk about is, um, tools. Uh, so one thing I did, uh, yesterday after I, um, went and pulled up all those, all those plants was the scissors and stuff that I use the little snips, uh, for out in the garden. I went ahead and, um, I took them and I put them in the dishwasher. They said bleach, you know, putting in like bleach and stuff does not work for that mosaic virus. So put them in the dishwasher that will definitely sanitize them and be ready to use for the next time. I'm going to make sure to keep those, uh, nice and clean and again, keep a, an eye out on this. So I'm going to go ahead and that's something I can't do with this shovel. So what I've done is this is a, an old, older shovel that I use of not much of anything. And so I'm going to use it to dig uh, that soil up and uh, I won't use it back in uh, the garden. Um, certainly, certainly not over the next uh, years. So I'll get uh, this wheelbarrow. I'll get some of that soil out and get to going. All right, so we've got these holes now dug out here where the infected plants uh, were at. Hopefully we got rid of any of the bad soil. Again, we'll replace those in uh, with something else. Again, I think I'm going to plant one of each variety uh, the furthest away from all the rest of the other plants. Uh, and then in the extended garden uh, here, I'm gonna go ahead and plant in again. I'm not sure what, these just didn't take root very well on these bell peppers. <laughs> They're sad, um, very sad. So I'm going to go ahead and replace those. Um, I'm gonna put some of the zucchini and squash plants right here and see how we can get those to grow here and again maybe have some succession gardening which i always forget about each year is planting uh, things out in time so you have um, vegetables growing all throughout the summer so let's get to planting okay here is the squash plant and if you remember i said there was four distinct plants uh, in here so um, you can do one of two things. You can be real easy uh, with these and try to tear them apart. Uh, the other way is uh, if you get a water hose and actually spray out and loosen up all this dirt. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna go do real quick and come back and show you exactly what that looks like so it's not all one big ball. So now I've got the squash plants and look how they easily came apart. Now I said that there was four distinct ones. I think this one is pretty close to splitting apart, but I went ahead and just kept it uh, the same. So really all you do, you know, I didn't take the camera over with me, is take it out of the pot. And let's just think of the, all, all this is in, in the roots, you know, here like this, is get your water hose. Um, and I've got an adapter, you know, that's jet, stream, and a shower. And all I did was keep spraying that on there till you start seeing all these uh, little roots and keep twisting it around and you're just getting all that loose dirt around the roots and eventually you'll be able to just kind of come in with your hand grip on underneath it and just gently pull it straight out so you see I've got one and I've got two and I've got three all with established roots uh, there that I'm going to plant now, also, another thing came to my mind is I think I'm going to leave these bell peppers here. I want to see what they do um, and how they react with, with different things. That's one thing about uh, gardening is uh, experimenting uh, with things. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and plant a uh, squash and zucchini in between these. I'll probably kind of overtake it. I can move stuff around, uh, but I'm going to see how things uh, react. Uh, right here. So first thing is that we're going to do is of course dig our hole um, I'm sure a lot of y'all know how to to plant 
uh, these. So uh, I will go ahead and get these planted and then um, we'll get them watered in uh, right after that. But let me get them planted and we'll show you the results. All right, we're all done planting, watering everything in. So here's the new squash and zucchini. Again, they put it in between the old bell peppers. We're gonna, I'm gonna put some fertilizer and stuff on. Just try to baby them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what what happens uh, there. So I put uh, two there, put one over here. It was kind of hard finding new spots after everything had gotten laid out and didn't want to put back in the same spot. So uh, I think I got a little bit of room there. Uh, so here's where I said I was gonna put one in in the original uh, hole, and then I've got another one here and another one in the uh, original hole and then my two new bell peppers there and there so uh, look forward to the next uh, video we're going to do a, a full garden tour see where we're at uh, let's check out see how the spaghetti squash is doing um, yeah, i think that you'll be real surprised uh, about that so don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know exactly when that next video comes up. So y'all have a great day.